Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to analyze the CPU usage data in Visual Studio that is in managed code. The Visual Studio provides many powerful features to help you analyze performance issues in your application. So it provides a quick way to learn some of the basic features and uh, here we look at the tool to identify performance bottlenecks due to high CPU usage. The diagnostic tools are supported for .NET development in Visual Studio including ASP.NET and also for native C++ development. So we'll start straight away by creating a new project, file new project. console app and I will name it my profiler app once the project gets created the program file loads so I'll just replace the code, existing code, with the code that I have already on my clipboard. So I will just copy it over, paste it, and then I will start collecting profile data. So I'll put a breakpoint over here. I'll put a second breakpoint on this at the end of the main method and uh, I will bring up the diagnostics tool from Windows show diagnostic tool and then st start debugging Click on record CPU profile and in the CPU usage tab and I'll continue to the next pick point while the application runs. And here we can see that it's preparing data output window may contain additional information. So it will wait till it records the information. And now it has prepared the data. And in this step, we'll analyze the CPU usage data. In the function list, this is the function list, we will examine the function that are doing the most work. So the functions that are listed in order, starting with the, those doing the most of the work, are, and they are not in a call order. This helps us quickly identify the longest running function. In the function list, we'll click on the get number function. So we get a pen like this. In this view, the selected function shows up in the heading and the current function box, that is the get number, that's in the current function box, the get, get number function. The function that is called for the get number here, this is showing me that 2857 out of 2866 milliseconds were spent in the function body and the remaining time was spent in the external code called by this function. Actual values will be different depending upon your environment. Thanks for watching. That's it.